Time for my 13th John Carpenter game, Once Be Millionaire, the Family Entertainment Edition for DVD. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Adult Sport. Excellent. You've chosen to use your sporting knowledge to boost your bank account. Bet your confidence in winning huge amounts of money, so let's get the first five easy questions out of the way. Take a look at question number one. For 100 quid. Which, what phrase precedes bowls to get a name of a popular sport? Head blue, skull white, hat red, crown green. That'd be crown green bowling. That's right, for 100 pounds. A nice easy question for 200 pounds. For 200 quid. <laughs> The boxer on the right was well enough for his TV rap work with which of these? Harry Connick Jr., Harry Hill, Harry Carpenter, Prince Harry. That would be Harry Carpenter. Very good, that's right. Isn't that right, Ari? Said by uh, Frank Bruno. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. For £300. Which of these would you have expected to see these men use in their chosen sport? Cricket bat, skis, oars, rugby ball. That'd be oars. You wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? Well, you haven't. Well done. Question number four is for 500 quid. For 500 pounds. These men pictured here are both gold medal winners for Britain in which Olympic sport? Swimming, cycling, boxing, wrestling. That'd be swimming. You seem pretty sure that that was the right answer. And rightly so, it is. Well done. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Huh. Here comes question number five. For a thousand quid. <laughs> what nickname is this famous sportsman commonly known? Beefy, Hammy, Porky, Lamby. Ian Beefy Boffam. You have 500 pounds. You now have 1,000 pounds. It's the right answer. Question number six. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit though as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least £32,000. Here comes question number six. And remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. For £2,000. In which event did this man win four consecutive Olympic gold medals? 100 meters, javelin, long jump, shot put. Carlos won four in a row in the long jump. Well done, you just won yourself £2,000. 84, 88, 92, 96, I believe. Was he. Well done. Question number seven. Which of these is the most difficult question? Swimming, cycling, boxing, wrestling. That'd be swimming. Well done. Question number eight. Which of these is the most difficult question? Swimming, cycling, boxing, wrestling. That'd be swimming. Which club created an upset by beating Leeds United in the 1973 FA Cup final? Watford, Sunderland, Carlisle United, Bradford City. That would be Sunderland. A correct answer here is worth £4,000. And that's exactly what you're asking me. It's the right answer. Sunderland won, I believe, one nothing in that final. and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. <laughs> and the first of those questions is worth £8,000. And it's coming up now. The halfway point in this game. In which sport has the phrase quarter of uncertainty become commonly used? Rugby union, cricket, football, tennis. That'd be cricket. If this is the correct answer, you'll win £8,000. I believe the term is used for disputed uh, late before wickets, I believe. Okay, things are getting a little bit more serious now. 16 
15,000 pounds is a lot of money. That's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7,000. So think carefully before you give me the answer. For 16,000 pounds, uh, in cricket, which footing position lies between slip and cover? Third man, gully, fine leg, mid wicket. That'd be gully. For 32,000 pounds, how many wisdom cricketers of the year are traditionally chosen in each edition? Five, one, three, ten. That'd be five. Well, you risked 15,000 pounds on this question. Will you regret it? No. I doubt it. Hmm. You've given me the right answer, and it's worth 32,000 pounds. For 64,000 quid, how many times did this man win Snooker's world champion in the 1980s? 8, 7, 6, 5. See, Davis won it six times. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? Yes. Hmm. You had 32,000 pounds. You had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to gain. That's the right answer. You just won 64,000 pounds. 1981, 1983, 84, and 1987-89 were the years Davis won the championship. Hmm. 125,000 pounds. It's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the 32,000 you just won. If you do give me a wrong answer though, at this point, here comes question number <sighs> 12. For 125,000 pounds, which stadium is home to the Major League Baseball Club, Boston Red Sox, Shea Stadium, Wrigley Field, Fenway Park, Turner Field? That'd be Fenway Park. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose 32,000 pounds. Of course, you could be about to win 125,000 pounds. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. Chase Diem, New York Mets. Wrigley Field, Chicago Cubs. Turner Field, Atlanta Braves. You could be about to lose 93,000 pounds. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question... Number 13 of a possible 15. For a quarter of a million, which British male athlete last held the world's best time for the marathon? Mike McLeod, Steve Jones, David Bedford, Charlie Spedding. That'd be Steve Jones. You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Well, of course, you could be about to lose 93,000 pounds. You've just given me the right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way. I believe the record's up by which is, I think, two hours, one something. I think we'll see a sub to our marathon eventually. Wow, well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer, and I keep handing you big bucks. Question number 14 of a possible 15. Here comes question number 15. For 500,000 pounds. But... Only if you can answer this next question. For half a million, what's the name of the athlete pictured second from the left wearing sunglasses? Andrew Rock, 
Darrell Williamson, Jeremy Warner, Derek Brew. That'd be Jeremy Warner. I must say, I love it when people play the big questions. You had two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. You now have five hundred thousand pounds. Fantastic. I think that's from the 4 by 400 meter relay from the uh, 2004 Olympic Games. It's just a guess for me of where the picture's from. So. Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone a million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifeline. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope. Few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your fifteenth and final question. <sighs> Mr. Tant, you do the honors. What does the instruction Yoshi mean when uttered by a judo referee? Begin. Do not move. Break. Continue. Let me continue. I know the uh, real cash prize is for the most John Carver games with 13 of them. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thanks for watching.